Hey everybody, it's Tina Plackinger. Welcome to my channel where I read daily devotions out of my daily devotional called Treading on Serpents. Okay. I just want to do an update real briefly here on uh, my grieving process after losing Tootie, my little dog. It's been six weeks. And I am like a pendulum on a clock. And I swing from depression to anger. Depression. Anger. Depression. Anger. Back and forth and back and forth. Yeah, I'm angry about it. I'm angry about it. And I don't want to say anything that's not right. Ah, uh, but I'm angry about it. Very saddened by the whole thing. But, uh, you know, I'm moving through it, so. We learn discomfort and how to stay alive through it. We stand stronger by ourselves than if we were to get all caught up in the mix of things. The world has let us down. We cannot function like other worldly players, especially if we have been straight-jacketed. Straight-jacketed when the entire county is organized as a tactical unit and the targeted individual is harassed and stalked by what will appear to be the entire world, leaving him or her isolated and helpless. We cannot function like other worldly players, especially if we have been straightjacketed. People seem to make a mess of things that should actually be joyous for us. They make a mess of it. Our problems are no longer resolved with worldly, worldly solutions. We must tackle our dilemma supernaturally. While we use kingdom principles like Jesus' name, the blood of Jesus, a life of prayer, speaking in tongues, worship, and confessing scriptures aloud. Satan rules over this world by deceiving many people who live in the darkness of ignorance. His ways are twisted to look like God's ways when they are not. He has even hoodwinked gang stalkers into believing that they are not under some sort of observation themselves. So, we stop worrying about this fallen world and start learning the ways of God. No man will be able to close doors that God opens, nor open doors that he closes. Today's scripture is taken from the Amplified Bible, Proverbs 10, 9. He who walks uprightly walks securely, but he who takes a crooked way shall be found out and punished. So,
We stay in the fight. We live one day at a time. And sometimes it's a half a day at a time. Sometimes it's just, just too much. We focus on Jesus. And I need to hear myself say that because I have to focus on Jesus. When I focus on Jesus... My tolerance level, um, everything is just different. I, I can, I can, I can hang. I can hang. And we keep our faith. The enemy wants our faith. We stay in the fight. We live one day at a time. We focus on Jesus. And we keep our faith. And together, we can do this thing. God bless you. And I'll see you soon.